To earn your property adjuster certificate recognized by a growing list of IA firms and get everything you need and need to know to get started as an independent property adjuster, go to adjustertv.com slash path. In this video, we're talking teams, specifically property IAs joining forces to run claims faster and better than they can on their own. Starting now. This is Adjuster TV. Hey, it's Matt here with Adjuster TV, and for the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as an independent adjuster, subscribe now. Click on the bell notification so that you'll never miss a video. And thanks to the Great Fire of London in 1666, in which more than 13,000 homes and structures were destroyed, property insurance as we know it can be traced to this devastating fire. One of the first property insurance companies even had its own fire brigade. However, it became clear that the firefighting system was flawed when the brigade would ignore burning buildings if they discovered that they were not insured with their company. This led to insurance companies contributing money to municipalities to support the fire brigades to curb these abuses. It wasn't a complete fix for the problem, but it was a good start and contributed to the development of modern firefighting and prevention. While the true death toll is disputed, there are only six verified deaths recorded. Want to know how you can survive your first ever storm deployment? Check out the How to Survive Your First Storm Deployment webinar. Register for free at adjustertv.com slash thrive. So what if you were really good at, at Xactimate? Super fast, you can find anything in there almost instantly. You can troubleshoot when things break and you can type really fast and do great reports. And I am awesome at scoping and talking to insureds and taking pictures and I've got a great understanding of construction, et cetera. And we got together to run claims. Wouldn't that be sweet? You could stay in the truck and I could walkie talkie my scope back to you and text you photos. And by the time I was done looking at a house, you'd hand me an estimate out the window and I could go and settle up with the insured on site and boom, done. This is real. I've personally teamed up myself and in my experience, there's a way that I think makes the most sense to do this. But first, can you even do this? Will the IA firm or the carrier have a problem with this? Probably not. However, you'll both probably need to be licensed, most likely, and in many cases, you'll also both need to have that carrier certification if you're both going to be digging deeply into each claim or contacting insureds. So keep that in mind while you're planning to do this. Okay, let's talk about the different ways that you can partner up. Number one, you can hire an assistant to help you make contact calls, stay on top of your voicemails and emails, and document your activity diary in your files when contact is attempted or made with your insureds. Number two, you can hire another adjuster to write your estimates for you. Number three, you can team up with your spouse to do number one above or number two above or both. Number four, you can team up with another equally experienced adjuster to split up the claims in an attempt to make double the money. Or number five, you and your spouse can each take your own claims on a storm and double up that way. I've seen this way done with great results. And there are certainly other ways to do this, including one adjuster getting all the claims and then hiring a half dozen inspectors to run out and scope those losses for them. I mean, I guess this can work and I'm sure that some guys can get away with this. The problem I have with doing that particular thing is that you're always gonna have in inconsistent file quality and probably pretty low customer service. And those things are important to me, but if a guy is running and gunning and wants to just smash out a ton of claims in a super short period of time, maybe quality is not such, such a priority for him. If you're new to claims, you're single, or your spouse isn't into it for whatever reason, and you're asking me if teaming up with another adjuster or an assistant is worth it, and if so, how to do it, let me give you some advice, okay? Run claims on your own first for at least a couple of cats, maybe two or three. That way you can learn the ropes, you can learn how you like to make your contacts, how you like to write your estimates, what your own expectations are for getting through your workflow, and then build out a system for yourself. Look for places in your workflow where you find yourself saying, man, if I could just have somebody do this part of the work, I could get so much more done during the day. Believe me, you're going to find plenty of places like that in your workflow. Then take the system that you've developed and bring in an assistant to help you on those parts of your workflow that you feel will move the needle the most for you. That is, that will help you to close the most claims. Let me save you the months of figuring this one out. You're gonna to wanna to hire an assistant who can route and schedule your claims, make your contact calls to set appointments, hence needing to be licensed and certified, document your file with those contacts and appointments, check your voicemail and call people back to confirm appointments, etc., 
and stay on top of your email. I call this running your desk. I don't care if there's drones, robots, artificial intelligence, time travel. In this job, you will have to be on the phone a lot. It's a, a thousand years from now, you're gonna be on the phone for something like it. In my 20 years of doing this, nothing moves the needle more than handing off as much of this phone work as possible to somebody else. But Matt, if my assistant is talking to an insured and the insured has a coverage question, won't they? Da, 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 da. You shouldn't talk in depth about coverage with insureds before you get a chance to look at their house. Even if you're making your own initial contact calls, you're gonna say something like, I wouldn't wanna say yes or no about coverage for your claim without looking at it directly and then reviewing your policy. Because you wouldn't, okay? It's not fair to the insured to have your mind made up before you have a chance to inspect. And not only that, you might as well throw your customer service rating off a bridge for all the good that's gonna do you. Your assistant can ask the important questions, verify the mortgage, and do all that stuff just as well as you can. And if the insured really, really wants to talk to you, your assistant can get their best contact number and you'll call them back when it's, when it's convenient for you. And if you're my assistant and we're sitting in the same room, do not hand me their, your phone and say, here, well, here he is right here. Keep making your contact calls and I'll call that insured back as soon as I can in my own schedule, in my own workflow, in my own time block, okay? So insureds are gonna have basic questions. My roof is still leaking. Can I chart my roof to stop the leak? Of course. Just be mindful that Matt will need to look at the damage directly, so be prepared to pull it back for him when you guys meet. Or can I have my contractor there? Of course, Matt prefers it, etc., etc. so on and so on, right? This is also how I suggest that spouses who want to work together get started as well. One of you probably got into becoming an IA before the other one did, so you'll likely not be at the same level of competence in running Xactimate. Whoever isn't the face of the claim should be running the desk while they get their Xactimate skills up to snuff, right? And once they're ready to write your, your estimates for you while you scope the house, they should still be running your desk, okay? Yes, this is a lot of work. At first glance, it looks like more work than just scoping losses and settling up with the insured. But you're teaming up so that you can close more claims in a day without losing any quality. So the poor sap that's gotta climb all those roofs is going to be busy. Get started on your first roof at 7 a.m. and don't be climbing down your last one until the sun is going down every single day. No need for a paper day, right? Make hay while the sun shines as a team. And speaking of teams, I've said it a million times on Adjuster TV, outsourcing your desk work to an assistant will pro provide you with by far the greatest benefit when you're thinking of teaming up. You've seen me talk about Schedule It on here and I still recommend their service for taking care of your claims routing, scheduling contacts, and claim documentation. The service is more affordable than ever right now with their new pricing model. It's one low monthly fee for unlimited contacts, okay? Go to adjustertv.com slash schedule it to, to learn more and get started with your subscription. And remember, you can use this service year round, especially if you're doing dailies in the off season. So assuming that your new assistant isn't your spouse, you're gonna have to pay them. What should you pay them? Well, that depends. If they're just running your desk like an administrative assistant, then I'd probably pay them 15 to $25 an hour, especially if they're working remotely, that is not on site with you. If they're working with you and they're writing up your estimates, you might work out something a little bit differently that takes into account their hotel and travel expenses, maybe a day rate of some kind. There are no hard and fast rules on this, so work out something that's fair to both of you. But don't be giving anybody a percentage of your fee bill to run your desk like this. Okay, what about two equally skilled adjusters teaming up? One guy writes estimates, and one guy scopes and settles up with the insurance. I'm going to say the same thing. The person who isn't the face of the claim needs to be running the desk as well. I've tried to run claims with another adjuster like this, and it didn't work very well for me. The guy I was working with is an excellent adjuster, and we're both good friends to this day, but I'm much faster on my own. That's just me, your mileage will certainly vary. And I'll just say this about running claims as two equally skilled adjusters. If you're both really good and on your own, you're able to do six each and together you're able to do 12 and you're splitting the fee bill 50-50, you're still getting paid for the same amount of work. So I'm not sure, personally, it doesn't really make sense to me to do that unless you've got somebody who is, when you get together with them, instead of you are closing 12 claims together, you're closing 20 claims together, right? So you both do six and six on your own, but together you do 20 and then you split this, then absolutely 100%. Probably no way to really know that unless you actually get out there and try it. But I think by and large that 
somebody should be the adjuster adjuster and then have somebody help them and not be like two equal partners because I don't I just don't think that it, at the end of the day you're going to make more money doing that. And finally, I've seen husband and wife teams each just take their own claims, right? They can each run six or eight claims a day and when they get home at the end of the season, they've truly doubled their money. Imagine turning in 15 claims a day for seven months and doing this, you and your spouse could even hire one assistant to run both of your desks. I mean, if you ask me, this is probably the way to go as a married couple for the biggest results. Question of the day, are you a husband and wife team or wannabe? Have you checked out my friend Jazz's Facebook group for only IA teams or wannabe teams? I'll leave the link in the, in the description where you're watching this video. For much more information about crushing it as an independent adjuster, head on over to adjustertv.com. If you got value from this video, you can help me create more videos just like this by subscribing to Adjuster TV on YouTube. Wondering what to watch next? There are tons more videos right here on the Adjuster TV YouTube channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.